This is such an important topic. World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is this Saturday. One issue that is affecting seniors is the alarming rise in financial fraud targeted specifically at the elderly. Local financial instructor Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation back with us now to tell us how we can watch out for our loved ones, how we can protect our loved ones from being scammed. Uh, you were saying it, the numbers are staggering. It's unbelievable. Every time I see the numbers, I have to double check that I'm reading it properly. I wow. mean, 28 billion dollars per year with a B billion and that's just what, what's reported there is a lot of speculation that up to half of elder fraud abuse does not get reported because a lot of these senior citizens don't feel comfortable reporting it mm. or because they don't want the person who stole from them to get in trouble because up to 70 wow. percent of this elder abuse theft is coming from friends family and caregivers Friends, family, and caregivers? Yes, no. over 70% of it. So of that $28 billion number, about $20 billion of it per year is done by friends, family, and caregivers. So when the person Ooh, catches wow. that friend or family member, they don't want to turn them in because they don't want that person getting in trouble. And also, it's really tough for that older person to give up control. Because, I mean, I don't know if someone's had to take car keys from a parent before and say, right. you're done driving. That's hard enough as it is. Imagine taking their finances from them. So they know, oh my gosh, I just got scammed. And if I tell my children, they're going to tell me, that's it. You lose control of your finances. They're going to mm -hmm. take my credit card from me, my bank accounts. They don't tell anybody. It's a huge problem. Michael, what is the, wow. I know this happens in many different ways, but what are the most common scenarios that we need to be aware of? Yeah, so the two most common are identification. Um, I mean, impersonation scams there we go impersonation yeah. scams and um, identity, theft. identity theft so really just tr they're they're calling saying this is the IRS this is the FBI and you for the, it's the IRS you didn't pay enough taxes and you need to pay us in five thousand dollars of prepaid debit cards or else you'll go to jail and pay penalties or with identity fraud they'll they'll steal that person's identity with things they posted online they've even you know they'll grab your grandchildren's information off social media and if a grand child at a soccer camp. They see that from a post on social media. They call the grandparents and say, this is so-and-so from your grandchild's soccer camp. Your child got injured. They need surgery. And we're not doing the surgery until you send us $10,000. Mm. What are some checks and balances that can be put in place? Is this something like a family plan? Do parents need to sit their parents down and say, look, if anything, if you get a call about my kids, call me first. I mean, what what can we do to protect them? Absolutely. Trying to coach the, the parents and the grandparents to say, listen, if you ever get a call from a government agency or from someone claiming that I'm in trouble or the grandkids are in trouble and they're requesting money, hang up and call, call someone else to make sure this sounds accurate because 99 out of 100 times, maybe even 100 out of 100 times, it's not real. It's going to be a scam. Hmm. But they're really good at making it sound authentic. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, how are our elders falling for these scams so much? Is it is it the right words are being said? Is it they're just in a vulnerable place? Or how does it happen so so, so much and so quickly? It's all the above. So the, the scammers are very good at this, unfortunately. And, you know, as people are aging, they begin to decline cognitively. Mm -hmm. Something that might sound fishy to any of us might sound really authentic to someone who's 75 or 80 years old. And on top of that, you know, there's, there are romance scams out there. People are lonely. Yes. So they get contacted by someone. They strike up a relationship with this person they believe to be as someone interested in them romantically they start paying for them and they can drain these people for their entire life savings it's really tragic I think the other problem too and this wasn't with somebody who was elderly but with a friend of mine who she went online she was trying to call Apple support for something went wrong with her phone and she ended up calling a scam number Wow and they said you need to give us okay give us this password we're, we're getting into your and they ended up taking money as she was watching her money disappear she thought she was on the phone with Apple in other words oh mm -hmm. my gosh. so I think that the internet um, is also feeding this problem of course with all kinds of these fake you know your package is about to arrive yeah. um, click on this link and that is especially if you get contacted by a company. This is Apple or this is American Express. Say, okay, great, hang up and then call Apple or American Express back so that you're, you're calling their actual corporate number, not someone calling you claiming to be them. Mm. And quickly now, if unfortunately you've been scammed, what do you do? What are one of the first things report you should do? Report it, report it, report it. Report it to the authorities. If it's a credit card, report it to your credit card company. Get people involved so that we can lock the accounts down, make sure that no more fraud continues to happen and mm -hmm. put the right steps in place.
But have the conversation. I mean, it's Father's Day weekend. Maybe yeah. to, hey, uh, be aware. These scammers are stealing $20 billion a year. It's unbelievable. And really, seniors. the estate planning is a big deal. That's why one of our instructors at the Retirement Education Foundation's classes is an estate planning attorney to help coach on, the, on things like this. It's so important. And we have a link to the Retirement Education Foundation yep. on our website, fox2detroit.com. Good Thank stuff. Thank you, Michael. Of course.